What's up guys, this is Mitch back here and welcome to the Movement Center and welcome to the Hockey Series where we break down the hockey player from the foot, ankle, knee, hip, low back, shoulder, elbow and wrist so that you can move like you mean it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Hockey Series episode 6, part 2, part B. I haven't quite decided what to call it yet, uh, but this one, guys, we're really working on this top shoulder in your hockey stance position. Really important is that internal rotation component of this. So if you can't turn in or can't get that range and control as you kind of shoot the puck, we're going to see lots of problems happening on the shoulder. A lot of compensations we see is we see this shoulder start to shoot forward and kind of wink, wink as you can't get into that forward position. So we're going to go through a test for this. We're going to show you guys a release technique, the RRLA, so a lengthening technique, and then we're also going to show you guys a way to activate that at the end. So we have Mark on his back. This is the test for this, guys. So we're going to show you the shoulder closest to you guys here. So he's here. He's going to bring that arm out to 90 degrees, and the, you ha should be able to get that arm completely or almost pa to parallel the plane. Not completely flat, but parallel the plane without that shoulder shooting forward. So if he comes up, uh, great. So he comes up and keeps that shoulder set. He comes down. That's his range. And Mark was pretty good with this movement, so he's pretty great. Now, if he wasn't so great, what we'd see is that shoulder start to shoot forwards and come up as he comes down. So he is, he's going to get there. You know, we all want to get there, but he's going to cheat for it. So Mark was pretty good with this, but if he were to cheat, what we'd see is that arm pop up. Now, just as a quick aside, a good way you could work on this is you could have a partner come up, get that shoulder, hold it down, and kind of stabilize that position a little bit, and have you work down to your range and then come back up. Or you could grab onto your hand yourself, which is probably a better idea so you can feel that stretch on your own, and just gently hold that end range while your friend holds you down, okay? This is just a, a quick little way you can do is to stretch this position out, um, but you make sure you're gentle with this stretch, okay? Great. So if we're kind of focusing on the start here, you can stay down there actually, Marco. Is if we can get into what we call the pec grinder. So I'll show you guys the standing, we'll have Marco show us laying. Is we're gonna get in and grind out the pecs like this. I like to kind of hold the arm up like this, pressure in, and then let that arm fall out to the side. So you're here, pressure in, pulling towards midline, falling out to the side. So with Marco here, he grabs on there, digs in, pulls in towards midline, and then lets that arm fall out to the side. And that kind of sucks a little bit. You can see Marco wincing. It's his happy face. So he comes down, <laughs> opens up towards the side, good. He comes here, presses, opens up. Cool. So that's how he's gonna open up that side of his pecs to really make sure he can get his shoulder positioned better back into the socket. And if his shoulder's a better position, he's gonna be able to get better into rotation. So the pecs themselves do interrotate the shoulder, but they also hold your scapula forwards and kind of in this forward, kind of, you know, douchey position. So we release that, we can get it back into a better spot. Great, so now, if we sneak on back up, we do something called the bully stretch. So for this, there's another way to do that stretch before. We're going to wrap that around his shoulder. Good. And I'm going to hold this. This is a ball or a band. I'm sorry, a wall or a band is what I'm acting as. And if I hold his shoulder back so I'm stabilizing it, now he's going to go ahead and reach behind and give his arm a little tug into that internal rotated position. Should be no pain, no wonkiness, should be comfortable. And he's going to slide back out and go back into that position. He goes right back in and opens up that shoulder. Good, comes back out, and then goes back in. All right, so you're gonna work on that for about a minute or so. That's number two. And then finally, to activate that, we're gonna have Marco grab a stick and show us his sort of stance position. So he's ready to take a face off, whatever it might be, and we're going after his top hand here. So I'm gonna have him go into his stance, so grab onto this, drop a stick, and the movement here is we want to control full external rotation. So if I'm down, uh, that shoulder, perfect, all the way up and back. This arm is stabilizing, it's probably his bottom hand, his top hand is rotating completely out. His elbow is staying 90 degrees, and he's going into that external rotated position, but keeping that elbow bent. So he's here, and he comes up right to there. Good, and back down. You should feel that in the back of the cup. No pain, no pinching. If you do have any of those things, don't do it. You know, get, you want to make sure we were comfortable with this. Great, and back down. This is going to be a more difficult moving in different positions, but to start with, you're down in your stance and you're working on that range, going full into rotation, controlling it, and then all the way back out. Okay, awesome. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Um, you know, comments below, we'd love to see those. Throw out a like there if you like this. Subscribe to the channel, and most of all, move like you mean it. Move like you mean it. Thanks a lot, guys. Mm -hmm.